we are getting them started again. This is gonna be a catch up fun at home vlog. So let's just get started. So I know it's been quite some time since I've done like a full vlog with you guys, but I'm feeling a little chatty and I wanna update you guys on some things. So I am just putting my hair up to go downstairs and do a workout, but it's been a very, I wanna say chill summer, but it really hasn't. Um, as you know, we've had like a couple natural disasters and Ryan was gone on a work trip and then and then I went to float the river with some friends and it's just kind of been like a hectic summer. I don't know, it's like a mix of hectic and also like not doing anything. So my main focus of the summer though is to finish all of our home decor. I'm going to try and get a TV console and a new coffee table and then we'll pretty much be finished with most of our home decor for now. That's really just what I want to finish the living room. So I have to show you guys our new kitchen table that we got because it's really cute and I like it a lot. And I actually did pick up a couple Halloween decor items, so I'll show you guys those. Um, I went to at home for the first time. I think for the first time ever, maybe I've been like a couple years ago. Oh my gosh, it was like paradise inside of there and I will definitely be going back for more Halloween shopping and more like home shopping, but my main focus of the summer really has kind of just been working out. See, girl, it's getting strong. Not like I wasn't, but I kind of had just not really been prioritizing, you know, being healthy. <laughs> so since about like March or April, I've been really focused on eating healthy and losing a little bit of weight that I had put on in the winter. And I am addicted to Peloton now. <laughs> so if you didn't know, I did do a rent to buy on a Peloton bike. And I am like obsessed with the bike, the classes, the instructors. It is so much fun. I've had the app for over a year now and I got the bike, I wanna say in April when we moved into this house and I am obsessed with it. I really love it. I love the classes. Um, my favorite instructor for the bike is Alex Toussaint and for strength is rad lopez oh my gosh they're so awesome they're motivating they're like cute to look at you know what i'm saying and it gets you motivated so i've been loving it um let me know down below who are your favorite instructors if you're also on peloton but i'm getting ready to go downstairs and do a little boxing shadow boxing class and then probably a total body weights workout and then go on a walk with kai so that's kind of been what's going on. Just really focused on my health and reading a ton. I've been kind of posting reading updates for you guys. Um, I'll have one up, I think right before this, included in my empties video. Just been kind of taking it easy besides that. Um, Mr. Kai is not doing the best. He has been having some sort of like allergic reaction or something, we're still figuring it out, but he's been having consistent staph infections on his skin, which is like really worrying. We're working with the vet, like don't worry, we're trying to get it under control. He's on like a prescription diet now and we're just seeing if that will help him. But yeah, he's just been an itchy boy and every time he itches at it, it gets infected of course. So we've got a little like soft collar on him to make sure he's not itching and stuff, but it's just been like kind of stressful. So I don't know, I've just kind of been like all over the place trying to move into this house finally, get my health back in order and get Kai's health in order. So it's just kind of been a little bit of a lot going on lately. And then all the freaking natural disasters hitting Houston, can they just stop for a second? I'm gonna knock on wood because I don't wanna jinx it, but like, please stop. Anyways, now that I've got you guys a little caught up, um, I'm gonna go work out and I'll show you guys later on in the week the kitchen table that we got in. I bought them from Wayfair. And then I will also show you guys my little Halloween haul. But welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this and I'll catch up with you guys later. We are about to do some shopping and I am really looking for the little jack-o'-lantern pillow from Michaels. So I'm at my favorite little shopping area. We have a Michaels, Bath & Body Works, Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Old Navy, Ulta. So we're gonna do some damage. <laughs> I'm also looking for this wicker witch hat from TJ Maxx. It's super cute. And I think it'll match my aesthetic really well for Halloween. So that is also on the list. 
I definitely want to check out the new scents from Bath & Body Works. I have not yet smelled their fall scents, so I'm going to smell those, and then I am definitely going to check out if they have anything left for maybe SAS and check out the fall candles. So let's go start shopping. After that shopping spree and eating chick-fil-a and okay this is the worst background ever because it's literally Kai's bed which I can put down Kai's bed a painting and our makeshift TV stand because we don't have one yet so ignore that but I do have a haul for you guys of what I picked up and I think I did really good. So let's start with Michael's. I got exactly what I wanted, which is this little jack-o'-lantern pillow. I think he's so cute. He's like very precious with his big eyes. I just thought he was adorable. And I like that he had whites on his eyes instead of just black. So he doesn't look like a traditional jack-o'-lantern. He looks animated. And I just thought he was so cute. So very happy about that. He was $29.99 and then I had a 20% off coupon. So he was like 25. So I think he's adorable. I might go back and get some more stuff from Michael's, but their Halloween was not on sale. And that was the only thing that I was dying to get, so I just got that. I have to say, I did buy Kai a Lammy toy at TJ Maxx, and he's chewing on it right now, so if you hear that, that's what it is. But next, I went to Bath & Body Works, and I got some good stuff on sale. So they had this whole vacation collection on sale for $5.95. So I got three items. <laughs> I had really been looking forward to this and I knew I didn't want to pay full price. So I didn't actually think they were ever going to mark it down, but they said they were clearing it out for fall. So I did pick up two items in the Vacation Vibe scent. This is whipped pistachio and amber. So it's literally supposed to be a dupe of the Sol de Janeiro signature scent. So it's whipped pistachio, sun drenched jasmine, and praline amber. I picked up the shower gel, which smells so good. The 
exfoliating glow body scrub which i am running low on body scrubs that aren't like fall and winter so i'm going to use this one for the rest of the summer it's super pretty the glowing body scrubs are my favorite and then i also picked up solar shine which is radiant coconut and vanilla this is radiant coconut sunlit tuberose and bronze tonka so really excited about these i always love getting a scrub on sale anyways and i'll probably save this one for next summer and then i was able to get a free travel size a uh, little body cream. This is strawberry pound cake and the new fall packaging. I always will pick up strawberry pound cake if I don't know what to pick up, but I had a free coupon for a mini. So I did that. And then hand soaps were $3.95 today. So I just picked up one in white coconut caramel. This is one of my favorite ones, especially to transition from summer to fall because it has coconut and it has caramel. So it's like two really nice scents, one for fall, one for summer and then i did really go at tj maxx because i put away two lip balms and i put away a dress and then i only got this so this is a little like brewmate cooler kind of thing it's not a brewmate though it's a hydro peak that's the brand and it says you can fit a regular can a slim can and a bottle so i thought that was really good usually it'll only fit one of the three so i'm happy it fits a tall can and a short can so i could fit like a coke in here and then i could also fit like a truly or something else so and i think it's really cute it's got like little neutral cheetah print so i used to have one of these i had a roommate that was gifted to me and i totally lost it in the move or maybe i left it at my parents house and i never moved with it i don't know but this was only 9.99 so i figured i'd pick one up because i've been kind of needing one this summer as i'm drinking a little more often outside so and the last place i went to was ulta so i've been needing a couple skincare items i am almost out of my toner and i want to try a new one so i actually picked up two to try the first one i've been looking at for a really long time and this is the fresh rose deep hydration facial toner and i got the mini it was still 20 bucks for this mini size which is 3.3 fluid ounces but i've heard wonderful things about this so i'm really excited to try it so this one's a hydrating toner. I might save this for more like fall, winter. And then I also picked up this CauseRx AHA BHA Vitamin C Daily Toner. This one says it gently exfoliates. So that's really what I was looking for. My skin is just like, I don't know. It's just drab. I'm wearing makeup right now, but it's just like drab. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just dull, needs a little life. I've got some congestion on my chin right here. I just, I need a little help, so. And then in the mini section, of course, I picked up a little hero mini patch because we're almost out of ours and this is six originals and six invisibles if you have not used these yet you need to get on them because they are so good i literally i popped one of ryan's pimples last night and put one on okay it, it, they're really good and then i also picked up a dr papa original balm so i will be trying this out i've never tried this brand but i've heard really good things and then i got a free gift with purchase which she didn't even tell me she just put it in my bag i was like oh okay cool this is the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So it must've been like if you spent a certain amount on skincare, you got a little freebie. So excited to have a Drunk Elephant item. I've never tried their stuff before. So that's my little haul. Not a ton of stuff, but I'm really happy that I was able to pick up my little jack-o'-lantern and some Bath & Body Works items. Sunday and I'm editing this vlog realizing that I forgot to show you guys the new kitchen table so I'm going to show you that now and of course Kai hears me talking and has to come investigate <laughs> so I'm going to show you his favorite spot by the window now and then our little kitchen table this is his favorite spot so he can look out on the street and see our neighborhood kitties ignore his tear stains please we are trying to get him some allergy medication for dogs he's probably going to need um, a little allergy shot every month so all right so here is the wonderful dining room table so I was able to get the table from Wayfair the chairs are also from Wayfair and the little seat cushions are all from Wayfair I thought it was a pretty reasonable price I was not here while Ryan put together the table so it was a little difficult honestly to put together the table he told me 
Um, he did it with his dad. So it was two people putting it together. The chairs were pretty simple to put together though. They came already together with the back and the seat. You just had to put the legs on them. But yeah, this is our little dining room area. I love it so much. So it does come with um, a little overhead lighting. So this is my new favorite spot to eat, to edit videos, to work. I love it. And I figured I'd get these little seat cushions because the chair is pretty hard and I don't want to sit on that. So we did get some cream little seat cushions. I think they're pretty cute. And then I have these placemats that we've already owned from Target that I put on here. And this little centerpiece that I bought a long time ago from like Home Goods, I think. And then I love this little corner. So I definitely need to put something on the wall right here. I have a big art piece that I think I'm going to use. But we have this little, this is actually a shoe organizer. I don't believe, yeah, we don't have anything in here right now. But it's just a really cute little dresser. And then I've got some candles, a picture of Kai on his birthday a couple years ago. And a little, you know, um, potpourri and a little dried florals and i think it's super cute i like this area a lot i think it turned out really well and yeah so that is it for this week's vlog i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed going shopping with me for fall decor but that is everything for this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below i actually figured out that 60 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so hey if you're not subscribed yet please do that down below it really helps out my channel and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.